and I'm an entrepreneur. Thanks for watching today's video. Today's video, Tony Robbins versus Richard Branson and what they have in common. You might be wondering right now how this video may even apply to you. What I want to do today is just give you an example of who these men are and what they've done. Now you may have an idea of some of that, but what, why I'm making this video is because I know there are a lot of entrepreneurs who are stuck in this sort of mid position you know, where you might be around my age, sort of late 20s, maybe even early 20s, early 30s, where you may have come out of the workforce or still been in the workforce and in a little bit of middle ground. So what's been happening a lot lately, especially online and a lot of the material I've seen, there's a lot of quote unquote experts saying, you know, brand, brand yourself, position yourself. And there are a lot of other experts saying brand your name, do everything under yourname.com. Now I've got a pretty strong position on this and today I would like to use these examples of Tony Robbins and Richard Branson to back up why I feel the way I do about yourname.com. So firstly before I go into the video presentation about Richard Branson and Tony Robbins, the reason I have a strong position on yourname.com is for a few reasons. Firstly, I think it's important to have a yourname.com site but I think yourname.com should be about what it is you do and who you are as a person so that people get to know you and it's a part of this relationship building thing. Now, the other reason is if you go and put all of your time and effort and build a business around yourname.com, well, what are you left with? You're basically left with one business model which doesn't give you any room for expansion and it's not really sellable because it's all keyworded to yourname.com and the rest of it. So what I think it's better, what you're better off doing is branching out and creating smaller business models. And I've proven this to myself. I spent the first maybe three years online doing yourname.com type branding with very little success. I gained enough success to create, um, do some live presentations and workshops and seminars and things like that. And I made a little bit of money. When I come back, I set up another site to put the, that kind of information on and that site become an asset, a web property, so to speak. So it actually become a tangible asset, something I could sell, which is something I'm in the process of doing right now. So selling off uh, three of my websites, so all asset based. But if you put all of your time and energy into building myname.com, okay, you don't have that option if you're not doing what you want to do with it. So. Now I'm going to go into the presentation between Tony Roberts and Richard Branson just to reinforce why I feel the way I feel about this subject. So let's get started on that. Okay, so what do Richard Branson and Tony Robbins have in common? Now Richard Branson has now got over 200 companies in 30 countries. The Virgin Group has expanded into the fields of leisure, travel, tourism, mobile, broadband, TV, radio, music festivals, finance and health. But obviously Richard Branson's come a long way from where he was sitting in the 1970s when he very first started off his very first company. Now, Virgin Records was founded in 1970 as a mail order retailer. In 1972, they built their first recording studio in Oxfordshire. And in 1977, they signed the Sex Pistols and went on to sign other major household names such as the Rolling Stones and the Culture Club. So my question is to you, who really is Richard Branson? Now, and who would Richard Branson be without this whole list of success and the Virgin Records? And who would a Virgin Records have been without their superstars? Okay, so the stars, it was the stars that helped build the Virgin label and the Virgin brand. Obviously, there was smart business sense in that. But the point to ponder is where would his company have been without their stars? And there is a message here, okay? So I'm not trying to ramble on, but what I'm trying to say to you is Richard Branson's name was not made by him running around saying, I'm Richard Branson and I'm amazing. His name was built through proof, through solid, through, through solid proof and growth. And he become known as an incredible businessman because he built incredible businesses. So if you're 
wondering why you're not having any success with myname.com, it's because no one knows who you are and you haven't proven yourself. Tony Robbins. Now, Tony Robbins is one of my favourite, favourite people in the whole wide world. And I guess it's because he's, um, his medium, what he's actually put together, his work has affected my life so dramatically. And I've done, you know, read quite a few of his books and listened to audios and done programs. Haven't made it to a live presentation yet, but I'm really keen to do that at some stage. But what a lot of people don't know about Tony Robbins is he's actually the chairman of several privately held companies in different industries. So his companies cover hospitality, education, media production, business services and nutraceuticals. And he holds an interest in many other companies, quite a few other companies. So you can see between both of these amazing businessmen that they have got their success through in, in a lot of different ways in a lot of different industries but what is Tony known for he's known for helping people right so he is known for changing lives for having you know helping people get dramatic results in their life so really the whole point of this presentation is to say if you're trying to build my name.com my name.com is best built through your results and what you help other people get that is what will build your branding your name your expertise now I'm not saying don't have myname.com for a point of reference but it's the work you do that is really going to build your reputation and brand and you might be around the same age as me and we're still working on it and we're still you know turning the wheels and building our businesses and obviously in 10 20 30 years time hopefully we'll be sitting there as well known as a Tony Robbins or a Richard Branson so I hope this video has helped just enlighten you in a, in a small way and maybe just change your way of thinking and fingers crossed if you have been stuck in this position and I know because I've been there myself where you're struggling to get branding and and you're trying to position yourself I guess the real thing to wonder is is it your businesses you should be worried about positioning not so much yourself thanks for watching today's video got to run got the baby in the room take care bye